Us classic Tomb Raider fans have been trying to tell you guys for years. A lot of you listened, but a lot of you did not and gaslit us into thinking, oh, that's not true. Crystal Dynamics loves Lara Croft. They're not trying to change her. The t new Tomb Raider games aren't woke. Well, here's some more proof in a new statement made about Lara Croft and how they're going to rectify her problematic past. She's no longer even going to be a Tomb Raider. I've been telling you guys this. They have been setting this up for a while. Now, this is in regard to Shadows of Truth. This announcement comes from which, by the way, Crystal Dynamics has already said everything that they're creating, moving forward, partnerships, uh, cameos, all that. It's a unified direction and it's all going to be coherent with what they're working on with the next mainline game. Now, and I've talked about time and time again with the remasters, for example, Crystal Dynamics did not like this. They didn't want to make it happen. It was Embracer who outsourced it and made that happen because classic Tomb Raider goes against everything that Crystal Dynamics is trying to push for Lara Croft and for the franchise in general. Uh, that is why they added their stupid disclaimer to the remasters that they didn't even make, right? So if you want to find more of that, I have a lot of videos talking about this and giving more of a backstory about how they are trying to ruin Lara Croft and the Tomb Raider franchise. It's no longer about Tomb Raiding. It's more about protecting artifacts now, you know, with the their respective cultures and respecting the culture. Lara Croft, who was created as a grave robber, a tomb raider, quite literally, is now just not only physically been transformed, but is also her motivations, everything, the entire premise of the game. And Lara Croft as a character are being transformed in a very terrible direction. Now, I've talked about this tabletop game tabletop RPG game. I have videos about it if you want to see this. I mean, in the, uh, <laughs> all the inclusion. Uh, anyway, so let me pull this up. So we have Aimless Thunder who took uh, a screen, who shared this screenshot of this here. All right. And Aimless Thunder is like, what's, what's going on? What the heck? But let me just pull this up. The, obviously the Tomb Raider fan base is not happy about this. Because you're changing everything. We tried to tell the reboot stands. We tried to tell them. They're changing everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the same Lara Croft. All right. So, rating and colonialism. Colonialism. <laughs> oh, brace yourselves, you guys, because the cringe will be real. What, then, is rating? And how does it mirror colonial practices? See, this is the thing. Is a woke company has no business. Now, the, again, this is the tabletop. People think that it's not going to have any translation over to the mainline thing, which is stupid. Crystal Dynamics has already been saying over and over again, she's a protector of artifacts. They've been setting this up since the original trilogy, and especially after that, or not the original trilogy, but their rebooted trilogy they have been setting this up we've seen it even with that power wash simulator game that they added the tomb raider stuff to it they added some backstory and some oh she's auctioning off her artifacts to the, getting them to their respectable respective owners and doing charity events now for these cultures that she's respecting she's not stealing from them anymore this has been set up and it will play a part in the next mainline game that will probably become a colossal flop and Tomb Raider will either be ruined with it or and sold off again or an Embracer will just kick Crystal Dynamics out, work with uh, continuing the remasters with Aspire and so on and so forth. Hopefully that latter is the case. I don't want to see Tomb Raider sold Again, I just want to see Crystal Dynamics fired from this. Crystal Dynamics has their hand also in this tabletop game. All this stuff, why would they approve this change and all this stuff if they weren't going to implement it in the next mainline game? Not only that, but like I said, Crystal Dynamics themselves have already been setting this up. So this isn't, oh, only for the tabletop game. All right, let's continue. 
rating as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories involves going into going to ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers that grants raiders with the means and drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Later games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this. See, this is even is talking about later games, which the rebooted stuff, Crystal Dynamics, they have already worked on, on changing this. By having Lara Croft acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with, she has also worked to reform Raider culture and raise awareness of her peers. She's woke. Lara no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a raider, she prioritizes seeking out the truth. Much of this game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. We believe that all three aspects are an important component in creating a game that celebrates history and culture while acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism. <laughs> In this game, we seek to continue the work that work alongside Crystal Dynamics. See, so people who are just like, oh, but it won't be in the next game. Oh, what it won't. They're working alongside Crystal Dynamics with this. And did you just conveniently miss what we just read here? Later games, they have already addressed, worked on addressing this. They, they, this has been in the works for so long and we have been trying to tell you guys. And finally, it's written out in black and white right in front of our faces. You guys cannot keep, now when I say you guys, not all of you watching, a lot of you know, but people in the community who have been gaslighting us, the reboot stands, all that. Oh no, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. It's happening. We told you guys the writing was on the wall the entire time. All right. by cre uh, We're working alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter please let this be a colossal flop who is gonna support this anyway i don't know but i don't see most mainstream tomb raider fans doing that most of the tomb raider fan base are not gonna want to support this now let me also show just a couple other pages of this we've got natla here uh she is the main antagonist of the first game, look at that. She, her, they got her pronouns on there. Curtis Trent from Angel of Darkness, he, him. They're throwing pronouns in this. This is trash. This is absolute trash. <laughs> Tomb Raider is in the hands of such a woke developer. And again, this is this is the tabletop game, but they are working in tandem with Crystal Dynamics, who have been extremely woke. I mean, just look at the main Tomb Raider social media accounts and stuff like that as well. They're constantly posting woke stuff. This is not new. This has been a thing and people have been delusional. All right, so here we have Aya who tweets this. They've redefined Tomb Raider enough already and I don't need another bloody lecture about what immoral scum core design is from a bunch of spineless. Now they're the original developers for those who don't know. And of course, Crystal Dynamics, they acquired the rights for Tomb Raider after core design got fired, after... Angel of Darkness did not perform and one of my rings fell off. Okay, so, <laughs> but anyway, that's what happened. Core Design, they are the real creators of Tomb Raider. Crystal Dynamics have done nothing but try to hijack and change everything. Even with the Legend Anniversary and Underworld games, while they aesthetically look better and Lara Croft looks better, they still transformed Lara Croft, her motivations. Um, you know, now she's following her father's footsteps instead of uh, or trying to find her mother and all that they added all this family drama and stuff instead of where previously lara croft was created as a an adrenaline junkie she is a tomb raider a grave robber essentially for the sport of it she she walked, waltzed in these tombs, destroyed them, destroyed all of the, uh, everything. She didn't give a crap. She didn't give a crap about the culture. She didn't care about, I mean, she found it fascinating and she researched it, but she was, she didn't give a crap about preserving it. She cared about, I want this, it's mine. I need this. 
get in my way i will destroy you that's who she was she wasn't some oh i'm such a good person that was not lara croft all right so um uh, core design is from a bunch of spineless, creatively bankrupt weasels who would not be around today if it wasn't for the first six mistakes in the Tomb Raider franchise, which they try to pretend like. All right, and so we have a Tomb Raider tweet here that shares this British adventurer, Lara Croft, will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Chris Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape its colonial past. This is... I don't know. It's just like I've been, I have been making videos about this for years, try, complaining about this, not liking the direction, trying to tell you guys, and a lot of you uh, agree with me, but especially as I've showed more, <laughs> more stuff supporting my, um, my opinions here and what was going to happen that we've seen Chris Dynamics have been saying in interviews for years and years now. This is what the rebooted Tomb Raider games, they were setting this up all along. And especially is that they kept getting more woke as they kept going on with it. And I had hope when the rebooted games were first coming out. They kept telling fans, oh, she'll become the Tomb Raider. She'll become the Tomb Raider. And so we were hopeful. We were like, okay, we're going to have fun with this journey and she'll get there. That's what, that's what we, our mindset. Well, then once Shadow of the Tomb Raider came out and I remember that moment that I realized it's not going to happen. I was at an, I was invited to an early playtesting event with a bunch of different journalists and other content creators and all that kind of stuff back in 2018, 27, 2018, I think right before, not long before the game launched. And so yeah so while i was there they had interviews and stuff like that and so one of the developers was like yeah where she will become the tomb raider and what is a tomb raider it's a protector of artifacts at that moment i felt my heart sink to my stomach because y'all know i love tomb raider so much so yes this deeply this deeply affected me i was like oh my goodness I don't, I don't like what he said there. Are they really going to change her into a protector of artifacts instead of a grave robber and tomb raider that she was created to be? So, oh, she'll become the tomb raider. She'll become their tomb raider. She won't become the tomb raider. So this is why Crystal Dynamics did not give us the remasters that we have been begging for for so long because it contradicts what they are trying to set Lara Croft up to be. It's only because of Embracer that we got the remasters and they are a direct contradiction to what they are working on in tandem with now Amazon. So I, it is my fervent wish that... Embracer ends up shutting this down. I don't know if they will, though, because there is a partnership with Amazon going on. Uh, so I don't know how that would work, but it it definitely would be the dream if they shut that down, close Crystal Dynamics down, and just focused on the classic remasters and anything from there, we'll see, uh, with another studio. But... Uh, Otherwise, what's probably going to happen is we are going to see this woke raider in a new game. It's going to be trash. What we've already seen from the leaks, and I've made more, I have all kinds of videos digging into this, including rumors, uh, alleged leaks, so on and so forth. But the alleged leaks did tell us we were going to get a Lara Croft with a girlfriend now, and she's going to retire, all this kind of stupid stuff. Um which is just not Lara Croft or Tomb Raider, and she's going to be a, a artifact protector, all that. And supposedly, uh, from what I've heard from, and I've made a video about it, somebody who claims that he has a friend who's working on it. Again, take it as a grain of salt. I think that what they wrote was believable, but we'll see. Um, so they're not necessarily going full on in that direction anymore. What we've seen from the alleged leaks, uh, allege all of this is just uh, obviously not factual this is all speculation based off of rumors and stuff but even so they're still going with this woke angle to things so 
there you have it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We really have to push back against this. Uh, we need Embracer to see just how much the fan base does not approve of this and gamers in general do not approve of this. They need to see that this will be a flop. And that will happen if the next game comes. I mean, this tabletop game will be a flop. If the next game comes out and it is incorporating all of this woke stuff uh, and all of this change into who Lara Croft is and, and her becoming a seeker of truth instead of a Tomb Raider, then yeah, uh, I expect the next game to flop as well, even though they've been putting a ton of money and development time into it. Same thing with the Netflix animated series, all that stuff. So anyway, again, there you have it for this video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. If you want to hear me read the Bible to you, you can check out my Bible channel, Bible Time with Melanie Mack and uh, my streams at Melanie Mack, my gaming streams. And then I've got Go Boom Live I'm working on very soon. So thank you all again for watching. I'll catch you next time. And in the meantime, Go Boom. Miles Morales is Miles Morales.